Hello everyone and welcome to Cloud9 Blessings. This is Amber and I hope that you are all having a very beautiful and blessed day. Thank you all so much for joining me here on the channel. The heavenly experience I am about to share with you today was emailed in by our dear sister in Christ, Kathy, where she shares with us an amazing encounter that she had with Yeshua and shares what she saw. Enjoy. In Kathy's email, it says, Hello, Amber. My name is Kathy and I am from Alabama and I have been watching your channel for a while now and I just had sent you some pictures, but I'm also debating on this encounter I had with Yeshua, Jesus, on September 29th of 2018. But I feel he is telling me that it is the time as we are now in the last hours and even minutes upon his return, which I also heard the other day. Time is up. On September 29th of 2018, I was having what I thought at the time was one of the hardest trials of my life. I was just feeling the weight of so much in my spirit. I was missing my dad since his birthday would have been the next day, September the 30th. He died in 2008, so I remember earlier the 29th that I started smelling things like pumpkin spice just really beautiful tasting smells, but there was no candle burning. So as I was getting ready to lay my children in bed, I had picked up the Bible and was ready to read Jeremiah. I finally then lay down after reading the book of Jeremiah and all of a sudden I heard this song by Brian Adams called Everything I Do, I Do It For You. And it got louder and louder, but there was no radio on, no TV playing. Although I remembered I always loved that song, but all of a sudden I turned to my left and there appeared Jesus, which I saw on a white horse with gold. He had a white gown and just before that all the pictures of Yeshua Jesus appeared to me like flashes, like clips. And as soon as I got to the Achaian painting of Jesus in white lights flashed all around it in bright lights, this picture came to life. He was the glorious, the most beautiful man I had ever seen in my whole life. And I was in complete shock. He began to say, oh, see and taste that the Lord is good over and over. And he was so happy and all the pain, sickness, anxiety I ever felt instantly disappeared. He began to talk with me and tell me I didn't have any of these things and how much love he had for me. I was then called up to the galaxy. And at one point in some parts of heaven, I was surrounded by his love and glory and he smiled at me the entire time. He was traveling so fast. He was on the horse with gold on it. And he said and explained to me about the song that was playing. And he said, I let Brian Adams sing that song, but that song is from me. I began to ask him something and he would answer me telepathically. It was so amazing. He said all of the things of this world I made but Satan came and made it evil. He had then shown me a room in heaven for babies, and there were babies there who had passed away due to miscarriages. I then saw the flowers, and the flowers in heaven sung and moved back and forth. I was then back in the galaxy and remembered the stars. They are actually alive and move. I then smiled. I was so amazed that Jesus was there with me. I then saw Jesus with the sword in his hand, with the huge army behind him. He then threw the sword into the sky and back forward and said, come on, let's go, which I believe was him when he comes back to earth. I was so blown away. I was seeing this and he told me he had chosen me before the foundation of the world. 
I wanted to see my dad since he had passed away and we were so close. Jesus had a surprise for me. All of a sudden, I was in some part of heaven, whether in the body or out, I do not know. But then there appeared my dad, like at the end of the movie Ghost. I got to hug him for what seemed like 10 minutes. I told him how much I loved him and couldn't wait to be with him forever. I was so grateful and thankful that Yeshua had allowed me to visit with him. He knew how much I needed that. Wow. He said, your dad is celebrating his birthday here in heaven and getting to do all the things he never could on earth. The last thing I remember was that I was still laying down and all of a sudden I felt oil being poured over my head and Psalm 23 went in my spirit. It was so real and vivid. I then got out of the bed and looked in the mirror. Since I got up, the experience ended and I was so upset. I didn't want to come back to earth because of all the things I had seen were so breathtaking and beautiful and jesus was as well he is real and is coming soon we fly soon everyone i pray this blesses you all love your sister in christ kathy thank you so much kathy for emailing in this very beautiful experience that you had and being able to see your father and Yeshua. I do believe that this will touch many and encourage many that Yeshua HaMashiach is coming so very soon. Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved and longed for my joy and crown. So stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech Yodius and beseech Syntyche that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, Help those women which labored with me in the gospel, with Clement also, and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me, do. And the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly, that now, at the last, your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. I know both how to be abased, and I know how to abound, Everywhere and in all things, I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Notwithstanding, ye have well done, that ye did communicate with my affliction. Now ye Philippians know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving, but ye only. For even in Thessalonica, Ye sent once and again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. But I have all and abound. I am full, having received of Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable, well-pleasing to God. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now unto God and our Father be glory for ever and ever. Amen.